What are you doing? I'm just using this eraser to- Wait a second. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use an eraser for a sanding block for your scale modeling. My name is Brian Medina, and here on The Empty Sprue, I make videos that help you build better scale models with tips, tricks, reviews, news, and more. If that sounds good to you, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future helpful videos. Now let's get started. I like to use a sandpaper that's wet dry rated so that you can use the sanding block with water if you need to. I like to only line up the sandpaper on one edge as opposed to both edges. The reason is it's easier to line up one edge by itself than two edges at the same time. So to cut your sandpaper, you'll want to measure approximately how long you need from one point to somewhere back here to give you the longest, the most amount of sanding is going to be that distance. So, so we're going to cut a strip of sandpaper at two inches using one factory edge, the long edge. We'll measure in two inches. So I like to use the factory edge as my sanding front edge here that's going to be on the point. And I put the joint on the top, so put it a little bit past, wrap this side over. It's on top there. Fold the sandpaper around, and that's about where you need to cut your paper. So fold that over, try to fold it really tight so that it's nice and smooth and close to, and tight to the eraser. And try to pull it around as tight as you can to the other side. And hold it there. Then take a couple of thumbtacks and put them in the top. Now if your eraser is too skinny and the thumbtack reaches all the way through, that's a really bad thing because you don't obviously want to scratch your model as you're sanding it. So in that case, you would need to file down or sand down the thumbtack at the end there. In this case, they either have already been done or this eraser is thick enough. So just push it through both pieces of paper in there. One more thumbtack up here in the front. And then what I like to do to finish it off is to get rid of this flappy area here by trimming back right here. You can use a knife or I like to actually use scissors. Again, this doesn't have to be precise back here because you won't be using this area to sand, typically. I suppose you probably could if you really wanted to. And to finish it off, I like to mark it with what grid it is with a Sharpie pen. You can make sanding blocks for all kinds of different grits that you typically use, which is what I've done here. You've got skinnier and wider. These are a little bit thicker. Doesn't matter too much. And if you really needed to, you could cut these down to a smaller size or whatever particular shape that you needed and attach a piece of sandpaper to it. Suppose you could also attach the sandpaper by way of spray adhesive, but I have not done that. One of the best things to use the erasing sanding block for is to flatten out mating surfaces so that you get a better fit.
getting the front edge lined up just right allows you to sand right up to the edge of something if you need to. Say you only want to sand on one side of a panel line or something. If you like this video, then you'll really like this one, where I'll show you how to make a power sander for your scale modeling with something you might never have thought of. Hit the like button and comment below what grit sandpaper do you typically use. Thanks so much for watching everybody. My name is Brian Medina and we'll see you in the next video.